Hello, I'm Mike Mulvihill. Well, in 2016, when the steam engine visited Carrick and Shannon on a very special tour that it was doing around the country at that time, I got to speak to Jim Gillooly, and the following unscripted interview is from that day. We're here in Carrick and Shannon at the train station, and there's a steam engine about to roll through and we're joined by some people who are on the platform here waiting for the steam engine. Jim, did you travel far to be here today? Jim Gilhooley, about 25 miles approximately. Would you have lots of memories of steam engines going up and down the tracks? No, not here, no. Uh, The last memories of steam engines I had was in Dorset last year where there was lots of them but I have nearly no memories of steam engines here. And is it long, we'll say, since you would have been on the steam engines in Ireland? Have you got any memories? I've never been on a steam engine in Ireland. So today is going to be a good experience? Well, if we get on, because I rang during the week looking for tickets and they were all gone, so they told me there would be one carriage for people without a ticket, but... By the crowd here, it, it doesn't look like one carriage. Yeah, looking around, there's a, a huge crowd on the platform waiting yeah. for the, the train to come in. And is it something that you'd like to see more of, steam engines making an appearance on the lines, even if it is only for one day every now and again? Yeah, definitely would, yeah. Like the steam engines and a bit of vintage stuff in general. I'm in a vintage club myself and a few bits and pieces and... Um, the uptake that's on this run today nearly speaks for itself that, you know, the tickets were sold out early on. That's it from this version of Unscripted. Jim Galuli there. And don't forget to take a look around this website for further interviews from the narrow gauge and steam engines. And also... Watch out for that documentary, Off the Beaten Track, and I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, from myself, Mike Mulvihill, goodbye.